we are going to prove that 2 plus 2 is not equals 5 because there is there are a lot of videos on youtube that prove that 2 plus 2 equals 5 indeed with having millions of views on them but that's not true before that a simple proof um so let's say i have two ducks and if i add two more then what do you expect how many will i have obviously four or someone might say that i will have five so let me show you how do they start their proof or do their proof okay they start from zero equals zero and that's the truth subtract 20 from both sides minus 20 equals minus 20 okay i can write this 20 as this 20 as uh, 16 minus 36 okay this is going to minus 20 which equals uh, 25 minus 45 till now everything is okay and then i can write the 16 as 4 squared minus uh, this 36 as 4 times 9 which equals i'm leaving some gap here this 5 is 5 squared minus 5 times 9 okay nothing is wrong here till now now if i let me change my color if i multiply and divide this 9 by 2 and similarly on this side and add 9 by 2 squared on this side and this side too you have studied in your lower classes that a plus b whole squared equals a square plus b square plus 2ab on oh, sorry i have minus here okay so this is a a square this is 2ab and this is b squared so i can write this as i can write this as 4 minus 9 by 2 whole square similarly on this side this is 5 minus 9 by 2 whole square now if i cancel square or take a root on both sides what i will get 4 minus 9 by 2 equals 5 minus 9 by 2 what i have done i have just cancelled the square on both sides taking under root on both sides and i get got this now add 9 by 2 on both sides i will get 4 equals 5 or i can write 2 plus 2 equals 5 this is the proof which is on youtube and i have, i think if you are here that you have seen this video this proof wrong proof video now uh, where is the mistake the mistake is here in this step uh, in this step, uh, the step next to it when i took root on both sides uh, let me show you if a square is equal to b which implies the, what does this mean that this means that a equals plus minus root b which plus minus i have skipped here okay so uh, if i take plus minus then what will happen let me show you if they if i take 4 minus 9 by 2 equals plus minus of 5 minus 9 by 2 okay and since this term here is plus term let me solve for minus here okay so 4 minus 9 by 2 equals minus of 5 and this becomes plus of 9 by 2 okay add 9 by 2 on both sides what i will get i will get 4 plus this will become 0 and this will become equals minus 5 plus 9 by 2 plus 9 by 2 what i will get 4 equals this is what 9 this is what minus 5 minus 5 plus 9 equals and here is the proof okay and if someone argue that we have plus minus and if i take the plus term then i'm getting the contradiction that is 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 i'm saying this contradiction because this is a contradiction and taking the negative one i am getting no contradiction i'm getting the simple statement that 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. see this this term is a if i take this as my let's say variable x then this is like x squared is equal to 
something constant let's say a i'm taking the whole square term as a this is a second degree equation and we know the roots of a second degree equation are given as x is equal to minus b a second degree equation of type a x square plus b x plus c equals zero root of this type of equation are given as uh, let me write separately given as x is equal to minus of b plus minus root over b square minus 4 a c by 2 a and this is not necessary that these both roots satisfy this equation if they do not satisfy this equation we say that that's not a root of equation and if that satisfy the equation put the value of x in this equation and getting is equal to 0 then we say that say that this is a root of equation this is what same happens in our this case the negative the positive ones give, giving us a contradiction and the negative ones is true this is this so this is what what was the proof was and i hope you liked it enjoyed it okay thank you